Shivram, there are many wonders in maths, right? The best example we can give is Ramanujan summation. So, what it says is, sum of the natural numbers like 1 plus 2 plus 3 so on, it is equal to minus 1 by 12. How wonder it is. Sum of positive numbers will be equal to our negative fraction, right? Uh, yeah, so this is uh, one of the um, highly controversial uh, thing. So one Ramanujan series, this one series, particular series, have created high contradiction in high controversies in our mathematical world. So it's not exactly in our usual sense. So one plus two plus three plus dash dash is equals to minus one by twelve. So what we are telling. So this is not under the usual sense. It has oh. something different meaning. So let's look into it. What oh, exactly sure. it is, right? So uh, now with the whole concept, what I'm going to explain is something called as uh, regularizing the divergent series. Okay. Okay. So let's see what exactly it is the regularizing the divergent series. Sure. So if I have a convergent series, okay, say summation one by n square, summation one by n square. So uh, its sum is nothing but pi square by six. We know that. Yes. Right? Yes. So now what number that we can assign for the convergent series? I have a series. I want to assign one particular number for that convergent series. So that number can be that the number is in the natural way is nothing but pi square by six for summation one by n square. Is it correct? Correct. Yes. So now if I take one more series, say summation um, uh, minus one power n divided by one n. So what is the natural way that we can assign a particular number for this series? It is nothing but the sum of that series. So that is nothing but we te tell it is to be land two. Correct. Okay. So now in general, if I have a series, okay, convergent series, what particular number we can assign to that convergent series is nothing but the sum of that series is the natural way of defining uh, we can assign that particular number to the whole series. Okay. Now, the next question is what about the divergent series? Whenever we have a divergent series, what particular number you can assign to that particular series mm -hmm. is the question. So let's look into one example so that it will be clear for us. Right. So I have a series. Okay. So now I am assigning. Uh, so this, this series, you know, 1, minus 1, plus 1, minus 1, uh, dash, 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 dash. Yes. This particular series, you know, and we tell this is divergent. Yes. This is no more convergent. But in physics, in many places, we see that uh, this particular series uh, is equal to some half, half. or something like that. Hey. They tell, right? Hey. So what exactly is the meaning of this? Let's look into it. Right? So now I have, I will take f of x to be equals to, f of x to be equals to 1 minus x plus x square minus x cube plus dash dash. This is the infinite series. Yes. So its value we know this is the geometric series. So it is equals to 1 by 1 plus x for modulus of x less than 1. So uh, the sum of this series f of x is equals to 1 minus x plus x square minus x cube dash dash dash. So this is equals to 1 by 1 plus x for modulus of x less than 1. So for modulus of x less than 1. So this, this particular series is well defined. Okay. Right? Okay. Now I put x is equals to 1. So if I put x is equals to uh, 1. Uh, what will happen to the RHS? RHS will be equals to what is the value? Can you tell me? One by two. One by two, right? So yes. if I put x is equals to one, RHS is one by two. One by two. What is LHS? Yeah. LHS is just one, one minus one, one minus one, minus one plus dash dash dash. So yes. this is our LHS, right? Correct. Correct. But uh, this particular series is not well defined for uh, this particular equality is not well defined for modulus of x for x is equals to one because this is well defined only for modulus of x less than one, right? Correct. But when x is equals to one. Uh, we get the LH, RHS to be half and LHS to be this particular thing, right? So now what we tell is the number that can be assigned for 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 will be equals to is nothing but half. half. This is what we tell, okay? Yes. And this is not equality in our usual sense because it definitely is not equal to half on our, uh, uh, on our usual sense. But the number that can be assigned for this particular series is half. So what we tell is the regularized sum of the divergent series 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 will be equals to half. So this is what we are telling. This is the this is the meaning of telling that one minus one plus one minus one is equal to half. Okay. So now let's come to our uh, the famous uh, Ramanujan summation one plus two plus three plus dash dash is equals to minus one by twelve. So what exactly is this? We'll see. Oh. So we'll have something called as uh, Riemann zeta function, the well-known celebrated function in the mathematical world. So that is we define the Riemann zeta function for uh, uh, real part of. So zeta of s to be equals to summation 1 by n power s for a real part of s strictly greater than 1 
we define zeta of s to be equals to summation 1 by n power s for a real part of s greater than 1. So, for a real part of s less than or equals to 1, this is uh, this is no more convergent, right? Okay. So, this is divergent. Yes. So, that's why this, this particular definition won't be valid for real part of s less than 1. Yes. Okay. Now, the whole idea is we need to extend this Riemann zeta function throughout the complex plane. Okay, so that it is analytic. Yes. In 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 fact, in complex plane my c minus one, we need to extend this whole function so that it is analytic throughout the complex plane c minus one. So definitely for real part of s less than or equals to this this for definition is no more valid. Mm -hmm. So we have some other function where uh, for real part of s less than or equals to one. So the whole function zeta of s will be analytic. Okay. So now the value of zeta of minus one will be actually equals to minus 1 by 12. This we can calculate after uh, extending analytically throughout the complex plane. Zeta of minus 1 will be equals to minus 1 by 12. Okay. Now, the same strategy I am following here. So, I, I, if I just substitute S is equals to minus 1 here, what will be the value? Yes. See, one more important thing that you, want, you need to know is that this particular definition is no more valid for real part of S less than or yes. equals to 1. Okay. But if I use it as a notation, what I am doing here exactly. Mm -hmm. So, if I take S is equals to minus 1 here. So, what I am getting the RHS will be just summation 1 by n power minus, minus one. 1. So, what is this? This is actually equals to just 1 plus 2 plus 3 yes. plus dash dash dash, right? So, what is RHS? RHS is nothing but minus, minus 1 by 1 12. Right. So, the regularized sum of this particular series 1 plus 2 plus 3 is nothing but minus, minus. 1 by 12. So, uh, the number that I can assign for this particular series is nothing but minus right. 1 by 12. So, I just write the regular sum, regular sum is equals to minus 1 by 12. Okay. So, this is the way how it uh, comes. So, whenever the series is divergent, okay, generally there are lots of divergent series, but if we want to converge at that, that, that divergent series or in other words, if you want to regularize the divergent series, we assign some particular number to that particular series by following certain properties by following certain rules, we will assign some particular number to that series. Okay. So, by when we do that, we will get such kind of thing. This is not under usual addition uh, or usual limit, meaning of limit, what we do under usual matrix space. This is not equals to minus 1 by 12, but under this particular sense, this is equals to minus 1 by 12. Okay. So, this is the whole uh, um, meaning of our Ramanujan summation and in if you google and you can see if they, many of them will tell, will give different different varieties of proofs for correct, uh, correct. this one, right? Yes. You yeah. have also seen that, yeah. right? But def there is, there are many mistakes in that proofs that exactly. you know, uh, they will take this particular number the equals to A, a. they will take this to be equals to A and uh, they will do something, something, something after yes. uh, ultimately they will get this. Arrive at the result. Yes, yes. Right? Correct. But the thing is you are not supposed to do any like whatever they are go doing in other things. You cannot, you are not supposed to do all these things because yes, yes. there is something called as Riemann rearrangement theorem. Correct. Okay. So, in that Riemann rearrangement theorem it tells that in an infinite series, Okay, you can only rearrange the term if the series is absolutely convergent. Okay. Otherwise, you are not supposed to rearrange the terms in that particular series. Right? You, only if it is absolutely convergent, then you can rearrange or you can add in different uh, terms. So, that's why so all these things are happening. They, uh, so, this is the whole meaning of the our Ramanujan summation. Yes. So, if you like this concept, if you like this video, so please like, share and subscribe uh, our video. Thank you.